All right, so as we saw a minute ago, these two weren't symmetric, which told me I probably had my datum shifted. So what we did is we came down here, and you can see there's like a flat where it turns into a radius, and we measured that on the left and the right, and it was shifted in the direction we thought. And then we checked up there and got the exact same thing. So it looks like when we did our circle, we were slightly off left and right. So what we did, we measured it, we got the difference in those measurements, and half of that was 0 .065, so we're off by 65 thou. So what I did to quickly fix this, we just set our caliper at 065, and we came in here, and you'll see there's a little mark. I basically just pressed the caliper to leave a mark there, and we did the same thing down here and left ourselves a mark, and we're about to erase that original line, draw a new one, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So after moving our datum, we're checking again. So from here to here, we got about 0.565. And then if we shift over to this other hole, you see we lined up at about 0.565. So got our datum fixed, and now we can proceed with our measurements. All right, so to wrap this up, we got our x, y dimensions. We ended up having to move our x axis and our y axis. So the reason that was off is this circle, we didn't really trace that from the fan. I just kind of eyeballed that off the blades. You can tell like over here, there's a gap where I kind of messed up. So we had that off a little bit, but we fixed it. And now all the dimensions, you can see here, once we got that straight, 5.65 and 2.85, we measured all four, they're all identical. So now I know it's symmetric. I suspected the fan was, and I had my datum off a little. But we got that fixed. And here's the cool thing. So I've got this all on a piece of cardboard. I'm just going to take this home, and whenever I'm putting this in CAD, if I need a dimension, since I have this already, I can just grab a tape measure or a caliper and measure whatever I want. So I kind of get to decide how much detail I want to put in this. But for now, we're just picking up the uh, bolt holes. We know at a minimum we need those, and we'll go from there on that. So then lastly, that gives us the profile of the fan, but we need the depth. So we came here, we just took a roller and got our rough, this is kind of this view roughly so that told us you know how much the motor's poking out and all that you can see our totals three and 13 16 so about four inches tall and that's important because when we put this in the car we do have a muffler that we have to respect we don't want to get too close to that because this fan's going to be close to it and then in addition we don't want it to be too high in the trunk because we have other hardware that's going to go back there so we want to keep that floor flat like we talked about so anyway uh, next we'll be putting this in CAD so we can Again, we're basically going to model up the fan. So we'll get a, a rough model of the fan, and we'll get a rough model of the heat exchanger. And then we'll decide how thick we want our fan shroud to be, and we'll create an assembly in, in the uh, CAD software with that space between them. And then after that, we'll uh, begin building our fan shroud. All right, I'll take it easy. What we did was we wanted to draw one-fourth of the heat exchanger. <clears throat> so we drew this quadrant here and we dimensioned it, so you'll see we've got our three dimensions that we measured. That's those three. We threw a radius on there, and we knew that this dimension here was 0.55 inches. And once we did that, and we put this height over here of half the thickness of 0.75, that fully defined this box. <clears throat> so once that was done, we created a mirror line, which was this one right here. And <clears throat> that mirrors the part over to the right and that got us the top half, and then we just mirrored it again to get this bottom section. And then when I exit sketch, we extruded this out to the length of the core. So now we've got the core modeled. All right, so next we need to model the little pieces that the fittings screw into. So that's actually like a hexagon with one inch between the flats. And let's see, oh, there it is. The length is 1.08 inches. So let me show you how we did that. All right, so we basically, we just drew a six-sided hex, which in this software, there's like a tool for doing polygons. We drew a circle in the middle, and then we just guessed at the ID because that doesn't matter. But we knew the OD is one inch between the flats, and that's hard to see. It's this dimension. There you go. So we drew that at one inches, and we don't know this number. I just put 4.75 for now. We're going to have to confirm. And then again, we did our mirror line trick, so it automatically draws it for us on the other side. And that got us our end caps. And there they are. End caps. Pretty easy. Alright, so next we got to create our flange that we're going to bolt to. So this is kind of hard to see. There's a tiny little rectangle in here. 
So we drew that, it's only like 45 thou thick. Yeah, sorry, these dimensions, there you go. See that one's 45 thou, 45 thou thick. Uh, that dimension across, pretty straightforward. Mirrored it to get it on the other side. And there you go. We also, we drew a sketch on this surface and popped our holes in there. We had most of those dimensions, we didn't have all of them, <clears throat> but it was close enough. And then on the other side, this flange, we did the same thing, but we cut it shorter because I actually did that in real life. And this is what we ended up with. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I mean, this looks, you know, it looks like the real one. I wish uh, if I had some good pictures, I could do a nice side by side. But yeah, this thing turned out good. So we got the heat exchanger modeled. Uh, that's probably going to wrap it up for today. But uh, next time we're going to do the same thing with the fan. And once we have the fan and the heat exchanger, we'll begin putting those, uh, space them apart and start working on a fan trial design. All right, y'all take it easy.